mentioned in the press conference a little bit about Chris Lieben earlier in the week. It almost sounded like, you know, you keeping him in the organization almost keeps him alive, keeps him on the right path, keeps him keeps him on the straight and yeah. narrow as well as he can. So, what? But on what the flip side, yeah. On the flip side, you know, his fight style is not healthy for him either. You know what I mean? The way that he fights, and and you know, he's getting up there in age, and the big layoffs don't help him either. You know, I. I, I I don't know, I gotta figure that one out too. I gotta figure out what I think is gonna be best for him, which people hate when I say that and when I do that, but, you know. Well, but it kind of comes back around to what you and I were talking about the other day with Mark Munoz and the mental health aspect of the game, and if there's a way that, you know, people can get prepared for this type of thing. Well, Chris Lieben's issues are different than Mark yeah. Munoz's, you know what I mean? Um, I, I, want, I want Lieben to get up every day and be a part of society and, and have to, have to do something, whether it's training, whether it's this, whether it's training other people, no matter what it is. I want Chris Lieben, because Chris Lieben, Chris Lieben has the type of personality that can go off the deep end very easily, you know, in a lot of negative ways. And uh, I really care about the kid. I like him a lot. I love the kid. And uh, I just, I got to figure this thing out.